Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on Escape from Tarkov using the RTX 3080. We're running a Ryzen 5900X with 64GB of RAM running at 3200MHz. Alright, let's go over the settings. Alright, before we actually start the actual benchmarks, I'm going to go ahead and show an example of um, how Tarkov CP bound. I'm going to do an offline raid uh, on labs. Alright, we're actually on the map now. I'm running around um, when they're in the middle areas. I'm gonna go ahead and run to the parking lot since there's a switch there and you can pull it. And it opens up one of the gates. And there's a chance where it will spawn in raiders. And as you can see, our frame rate is around 186 to 190. And it, the lowest we've seen it is like 171. So I'm gonna pull the switch. And as you can see, the frame rate just tanks to. Uh, 102 and our frame time goes all over the place that just tells us that there's going to be a bunch of raiders in there if there's no lag that means that no one's going to be in there no one has spawned in now in online you don't really feel the fps drops but if you host the game you can definitely feel it and as you can see the frame rate never goes back up to what it was before which was 186 to 190 and the lowest was 171 which was for a split second now frame rate is sitting at at 150 at 155 160 if I look over there, see if there's any. Yep, there they are. See? So we can definitely confirm that there's people in there now. And our frame rate is pretty jumpy. Lowest we've seen it is 126, and it averages it out at 150. So yeah, that's just an example. The GPU isn't as important in this game as, as a CPU, so if you want to have the best performance, you want to have, have the best performing CPU out there. Alright, here we go. Let's start the actual test now. Alright, here we go. 1080p on the low settings. We're obviously going to be GPU bound. No, sorry, not GPU bound. We're going to be uh, CPU bottlenecked. Our GPU is sitting at 50% usage. And I'm going to be doing all these tests on custom, since that's like the main PvP map. And majority of players will be also playing customs. Yep, and... Looks like we're getting 120 to 105 FPS. With our GPU sitting at 50% and CPU sitting at 37% to 27%. I'm going to go look at indoors real quick, see if the FPS changes. And we've got a little dip there, a little stutter to the 80s. That doesn't usually happen, to be honest. Alright, we're going to be pushing up to gas station now. And the uh, frame rate has definitely dropped below 100, even at maybe too low. Wait, someone's shooting here. Hold on. Oh, where is he? Oh, I can hear him. Okay. Now I'm gonna go from the left side. Hopefully he doesn't run out and kill me. I'm gonna just, just make a run for it. Someone else is behind us as well. Can't catch a break here. Making a little noise here. Hopefully he doesn't <laughs> pay attention to it. Hopefully he doesn't have headphones on. Okay, the door's open. Yeah, he's definitely either ran out or still sitting in here. Oh, look at this little rat. <laughs> okay, well we got him. Alright, let's move on. GPU is sitting at 60% usage now, 65% usage, so we got a decent bump on our GPU usage from going from uh, low to medium. Frame rate took a little bit of a hit. I think it all depends on the- oh, someone's shooting at us from behind again. God. Um, yeah, I think it depends on the area of the map you're playing on as well. Some areas will be more intensive than others. As you saw, gas station was sitting at 60% usage, but in the, in the bushy tree area, we always jump up to 70%, so the trees are more intensive, obviously. VRAM is sitting at 6 gigabytes, I think. On low, it was sitting at 2 gigabytes, so that was a pretty big jump. But I could be wrong. It's almost at, it's almost at 6 gigabytes. Oh, scav. We are working with 10 gigabytes on this card, so we, have, we still have plenty of room. And... I need to go ahead and reopen the mags. I'm running out of ammo. Alright, 
All right, let's continue. As we saw before, we're getting we fell below um, we fell below 100 FPS on tank below at gas station, but now we've gone back up to 100. Again. So all it all depends. Oh, okay, someone is shooting at us again. I, I can't make this up. I'm run this way. Are those people? Wait. Oh, those are definitely people. Well, I gotta get out of here. Get me out. Dude, another person. Okay, well, I think I'm dead here. I can't even get up. Oh my god. Why am I getting shot at? I, I, there's, there's multiple teams here, or there's multiple scavs shooting at me right now. I need to get out of here. There's the airdrop that I was looking for. Ugh. All right, 4K low. I'm gonna do a, a naked run this time. Just use a pistol, run around, just so we don't lose too much. <laughs> and frame rate is, I mean, still, it's doing much better than 1080p and 1440p. We are holding above 115 FPS for the most part. Sometimes it gets spikes to 120. And GPU usage is just sitting around 80%, so it's, you know. Alright, 1080p medium settings. Try to hang around in the same area as all the other tests, so. I do just want to trailer park here, so I'm going to try to make my way to the middle of the map, next to gas station. And 1080p, we haven't gone up above 50%. 1080p low, we got 50%. 1080p medium, we're still sitting at 50%. Maybe once we walk into the tree areas, we'll see a jump. Okay, Scav. Wow, VRM is sitting at almost 7 gigs. And medium settings. That's not what I expected. Tiny to be? It's a lot. RAM usage is sitting around 16 gigabytes, which is nice. Doesn't need too much RAM. <sighs> Where's this guy? Alright, 2040p medium. And um, all that preset so far, we just hang around 100 to 120 FPS. We are CP bound. Um, you're running at 12, 12th gen i9. You will, you'll be getting 10 to 20% more frames. Or the 5900X, and if you got a wicked CPU, you'll be getting worse frames. I think with the 3700X, you'll be around 70, 60 to 70 FPS with that, with that CPU. And Intel side, I'm not sure. I haven't used the uh, 10th gen or 11th gen. These trees make so much noise. Someone's sitting here with dead. I think 44p is the sweet spot for this card since we are getting pretty close to 90% usage for the most part. We do fall below 90% obviously sometimes, but above 90% you're no longer CPU bound. It's only a 10% difference, which is not that big of a deal. But 1080p, you're going to be sitting at 50% usage because you're using half your card pretty much. Half your card is just not doing anything. Alright, 4K medium. Almost done with that 4K, with that medium preset something. Someone out there. Oh, okay. Someone's camping the ones. Classic. I'm trying to spray here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I, I'll hurt him, I'll hurt him. Oh, thank god. I have no grip on this gun. It's what you had recoil. That was a close call. See what he has. Shot my leg only. I felt like worse to be honest. Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he's dead. I can hear him coming.
there he is. Revenge. Alright, let's jump into 1080p on the high preset. Okay, 1080p high. Already at gas station. Looking for PMCs over Shala. Prime is actually really bad. 80 FPS. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's definitely Rashala. Can I aim? What am I doing? Okay, I'm trying to get over here. Oh, Edge was coming too. Oh! How did he not kill me? Easy. Should be doing a left hand peek, but here we are. Where's the shot? I need to kill him. Guards are always. Uh oh. They're not dying. This car is the MVP. How did I not get killed there? Again. Did he crap? He stood up after I shot him. That's just. You know, that's how I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Rashad's left. Where is he? Alright, here we go. 1440p high. That was weird. 1080p high, we're getting, what, like an 85 FPS at gas station? There's gotta be something in these presets that is more CPU intensive than before. That's why it's good to actually optimize your own settings and not just use a simple preset, because they usually aren't the best. Uh, they usually don't have the best quality to performance ratio. Okay, 4K high. And the actual high preset is showing its quality now. It, it is unfortunately raining, which is not the same as all the other presets. But it's out of my hands. The server decides that it's raining on customs. And doing another game will still have rain. But I don't know if you guys saw at the start, um, the screen space reflections look really nice on the road. And it definitely makes a difference. I'm doing a naked run again. I only have a pistol with me, no armor, no helmet, no nothing. I don't even have spare bullets. I have one mag only, so I only have 20 bullets. I'm making so much noise hitting these leaves. It's gonna give me away. Is that inside? Oh, whoa! Guy at the rock. I didn't even see him. I still can't see him, where is he? Oh, okay, no, no. Someone's, someone's shooting at me. There he is. I definitely hit him. That I killed him though. Who is that? Yeah, that's the guy shooting inside, there we go. <laughs> just clueless. Wonder if he's got a friend, but I'm gonna take the risk and just... so... Alright, let's jump into Tank to be Ultra. No. It finally wait, okay, I was gonna say it took us from low to ultra to finally be above you know fifty percent usage on 1080p. We just dropped again. But we are sitting at 70% GP usage at 1080p Ultra. And frame rate is obviously capped by the CPU, so we're still always going to be around the 100 FPS range. And it also depends on the map you're playing. Smaller maps like factory or labs, you will be getting more frames. And also depends on the PMC count, I believe. And um, scavs also uh, will decrease your FPS. All right, 1440p Ultra GPU is finally maxed out. No longer CPU bottleneck. Frame rate. Sit, still sitting at 120. What well, is raining, so I guess that that will impact FPS a little bit. But again, it's out of my control. And I just realized that RAM usage is increasing to 17 gigs. I think it was sitting at uh, 16 gigabytes, uh, medium set, around the medium preset mark. Oh, there's a lot of shooting going on here. Is 
scav here before. Oh, there he is. Aim. Ah, oh, there we go. Let me see what he has on him. I get a gun. I'm running out of ammo. Cool. Shotgun will do. And I guess, yeah, like I said before, 1440p is the sweet spot. Obviously, you can play this game on 4K as well without an issue. 4K high. I'm not sure about 4K Ultra yet, but at VRM, we're sitting at 9.2 gigs, so maybe it won't be possible. Frame rate wise, though, holding above 100 FPS, you do get some dips in the, in the heavier areas, but more than playable, obviously. Alright, last little bit of the video, 4K Ultra, it is definitely playable still, <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to be, but we're still sitting at 9.2 gigs of VRAM usage, which is interesting. Usually there's a big jump between 1440p 4K in the VRAM department, I think in Rainbow Six Siege is, there's a big jump, I guess in Tarkov it's not that big of a deal, still at 9.3, RAM usage is still at 17, frame rate. It's on the lower end of 100s now, to do for uh, to the 90s more often it seems like, but obviously still more than playable. Like I said. How's he not dead? There we go. Alright, that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you highly appreciate it. See you next time.